Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are finally drawing another dragon for the 100 Dragon Challenge. Now, today's prompt, I feel I had more comments on, so I'm apologizing now if I missed your uh, comment on YouTube or Discord, but today we are doing a dragon based off of the seven deadly sins. And I thought this would be fun to break up into multiple episodes, like maybe we do um, a dragon for every sin. I'm gonna space them out a bit, but today I thought it'd be really fun to start with the sin of sloth. Not a lot of people seem to draw sloth when they do do the sins, at least from what I've seen, a lot of people tend to do like envy or greed or wrath. And I feel those ones are, uh, I guess, a little straightforward for a dragon. So I thought we would try probably the more difficult, well, not difficult, the, I guess the more less used of the deadly sins, which would be sloth. So I kind of had an initial idea and concept that I wanted to do for this dragon. Um, first of all, I imagined, obviously, since this is sloth, this dragon probably doesn't move around a lot. It's pretty lazy, just kind of lays around all day, doesn't really do a lot. So this guy, I assumed, would be quite the big pudgy dragon. Doesn't get a lot of exercise, doesn't really probably see a lot of daylight, and also probably also eats just when food is presented to him. So I guess ugh, maybe he could have been really thin then because either he has to live somewhere where food is pretty plentiful and kind of just happens upon his path pretty frequently, or he would just, you know, have to be super thin and never eat because he's too lazy to get up and eat. So then he would just be a dead dragon. So we're just gonna go with he's somewhere where there's a lot of food, really easy for him to get so it doesn't inconvenience him or make him move. So with that and the idea of making this guy kind of a bigger pudgy dragon, I also wanted to combine him with the actual animal sloth. I just imagine this type of dragon being this really hairy, like long maned creature. And I also like the idea of incorporating like the sloth talons into this guy's design. So with that, I kind of wanted to combine our real life animal sloth with the idea of the sin and uh, I like the initial concept a lot. I love doing fluffy dragons. Um, I like both kind of scaly and fluffy dragons, but I haven't really done a fat dragon, so to say. Um, so this was gonna be a fun challenge and just something different that I haven't tried before. So now with the initial rough sketch out of the way, it was time to jump in and do the finalized sketch. So for the pose, I really wanted an angle that would kind of show off how big this guy was and show off different parts of the body and really highlight the fluffiness of him. I just really wanted to make this guy look really big and fluffy and just uh, kind of just be adorable and I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe him. I know he's a deadly sin and he probably shouldn't be super cute, but I knew I wanted him just to be a, like lying about, not doing much with his life. And then I also threw in a little pig because if it's sloth, you're pretty dang lazy. So I'm thinking this guy if it conveniences him, he'll eat and get whatever is close enough, maybe with his tongue, but he won't move besides that. I could see this dragon really not wanting to get up, even if it's for a tasty pig. Like, he's like, nope, I'm good. I'm just gonna hang out here and just rest for the rest of the day. And with that, I would assume that he wouldn't really use his wings much, so I made his wings these little tiny cute things. For all we know, he could have been a very majestic and strong dragon in the past, but now with just laying around and about too much and not really getting out and doing anything, it's just his wings have gotten smaller as his body has gotten bigger and uh, his hair is probably also very unkempt. Just being like laying around in one spot probably has some large chunks of matted hair since he probably doesn't really get out to wash it very often. So now with the line art done and out of the way, it was time to pick some colors for this guy. So first of all, since I thought like he was kind of a relaxing, doesn't do much type of dragon, I thought blues would work really well since he's just kind of a calm, serene, chill dragon. I thought blues and bluish greens would work really well. So that's the main palette, but I also wanted to have a pop of a different color. So I for sure wanted the little pig to be pink and then have a pinkish reddish tongue for the dragon. And then the rest was going to be in this blue and purple tone of fur. 
And this, uh, this guy, I also followed a very similar coloring technique to what I did with the Beholder Dragon, which I did big chunks of the highlights and then went in with uh, some mid-tones and the dark tones. I mean, I do that whenever I draw with Copics in general, but it felt much more like cell shaded, like there was purposeful big chunks of different colors and big chunks of white throughout this whole coloring process. And uh, I didn't really try to blend the middle, uh, the, the highlight, the middle, and the darkest color together as much as I do with other dragons. I left it a lot more uh, segmented between the two. I think I did do a little bit of blending between the highlight and the mid-tone, but not as much for the other colors. And I thought this added kind of a interesting and different effect compared to some of my other dragons. I've been really liking doing this kind of more cell shaded look with this guy and just with the dragons in general. I think it's been adding a nice different effect to them. It kind of gives it a comic book style that I'm really digging. So I am curious for you guys, um, since we are doing sloth for this dragon today, I'm curious what sin should we do next? I will do a poll. I don't know if I can do six answers for the poll, but if I can, they'll all be there. If not, I'll do like maybe uh, a top four selection for the next sins. But let me know in the poll, like which of the seven deadly sins should we do for a dragon next? Like I have some ideas for like, greed and wrath like for sure right off the bat i know like exactly what i would do but uh some other ones maybe not as much or i guess lust lust would just be a really sexy dragon <laughs> but i'm just curious what other uh what sin i guess would you guys like to see next i'd like to do all seven of them for sure but i'd love to hear what you guys think in the poll and then in the comments down below like let me know what your favorite would be or which one you want to see me draw next and then again, if you guys would like to submit any ideas for the dragons that I do every week, um, I would highly encourage you go to the links down in the description. We have either a Twitter post. If you're there, you can reply to my tweet on Twitter. I look at those pretty frequently. And then also on uh, Discord. We also have a Discord chat and community. Just make sure to introduce yourself first and say hello to the community. Like introduce yourself, say what you like about the channel or maybe what your favorite dragon is and uh, just chat with them for a bit. We got a lot of amazing and awesome people there. And then feel free to jump into the 100 Dragon channel and put your suggestion there. And then as always, YouTube comments are always welcome. I also check those. So if you have an idea, leave it down in the comments below. And I do have to say, you guys have been thinking of some really cool ideas. It's been really hard to pick what dragons to do every week. I have quite a few like screenshot and screen grabbed ideas that you guys have already submitted that I would like to eventually get to. And I just have a very long list. And I know there's some of you that have been commenting the same one basically every week. Don't worry, I'm seeing those. And there's a few that are really popular, getting a lot of thumbs up and likes. So if there is also a prompt that you guys like, that's down in the YouTube comments or on Discord or even on Twitter, make sure to give it a heart or a like. And I have a better chance of seeing it amongst all the comments, but I, I mean, I read all of them. But if I see that you guys like them, it's gonna, it's gonna basically entice me to make it even more. All right, so we are reaching the end of this, just adding a couple highlights and finishing this guy up. He was really fun and very different from what I usually do, a big fluffy log of sloth. <laughs> but you know what, let's go ahead and look at your guys' entries. I'm really excited to see what you guys did for last week's Beholder Dragon. All 
All right, so let's look at last week's Beholder Dragons. You guys went above and beyond and really dug deep into like Beholder lore and found some really cool different Beholders I actually didn't even know about. So first off, Mighty Kamurai, I really like that you made yours a multi-headed Beholder Dragon and I really like the way you drew it. It kind of looks like an old uh, European drawing of a dragon that you kind of see sometimes in like old Bibles or old scripts. I really like the pose that you chose. And then Caitlin ND Art, I think I said your username right. I really like that you chose a Death Tyrant as your inspiration. We had a couple of Death Tyrant entries. All of them were really amazing, but you really nailed it. I love the hollowness of the eye and all of the red eyes spinning around and the gold and the yellow just looks so nice together. Really great job, both of you, and great job to everyone else. All of your Beholder dragons were amazing, and some of you got really creative with how to combine the body shape of a dragon with a Beholder body shape. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video and if you would like to enter your version of a sloth dragon make sure to post your dragon on Twitter or Instagram under the hashtag KM100Dragons and I cannot wait to see what your guys' interpretation of a sloth dragon is going to be. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video and if you aren't already you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button I have new videos every week and I'm excited to see what you guys are thinking would be the next seven deadly sin we should do so make sure to leave it down in the comments and vote in that poll. So thanks again guys so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.